So here's just another example for us to kind of work through here. So assume that on August 1st, Smith Shoes buys 30, 30 pairs of shoes for a total of $4,100 with terms 2% 10 net 30 or 2 slash 10 comma N30. On August 4th, Smith's shoes return goods costing $200. On August 8th, Smith Shoes pays the invoice. Prepare the journal entries. Okay, so we're going to go to the next page. So they made a purchase, right? So what did they get? They got inventory. How much did the inventory cost? It was $4,100, right? So on August 1, they're going to debit inventory $4,100. And they're going to credit accounts payable $4,100 because they know that um, it's accounts payable because they're buying it with terms, which means they're buying it on account. Okay. Then on August 4th, they return $200 worth of inventory. So that means their accounts payable is going down. So they're going to debit accounts payable $200. And they're going to credit inventory $200 because their inventory um, has gone down. The cost of the inventory has gone down. Okay. Then on August 8th, they're going to pay the bill. So the terms were 2% 10, right? They bought it on the 1st. They're paying it on the 8th. So they're within the 10 days so they can take the discount. So how do we figure it out? Well, we do that formula, right? So the formula for this one is the purchase amount, $4,100. Minus any returns or allowances, 200, gives us the accounts payable number, $3,900, right? We're then going to take, um, we have to figure out the, the discount dollar amount. And so we take the accounts payable number, $3,900, times the discount percentage of 2%. That's going to give us the discount dollar amount of $78. We then have to figure out the cash amount. So we have uh, $3,900 is the accounts payable number minus the discount dollar amount of $78. That's going to give us the cash amount of $3,822. That's how much cash we're going to pay. So we do all of that, all that math, we do that first before we do any of the um, entries before we try any of the entries we need to know what the dollar amounts are okay so we're going to debit accounts payable thirty nine hundred dollars purchases minus any returns or allowances we're going to credit cash or inventory seventy eight dollars for the amount of the discount and then we're going to credit cash three thousand eight hundred and twenty two dollars which is the accounts payable number minus the discount dollar amount which is going to give us our cash amount, okay? It's going to give us our cash amount. So that's just one more um, example to kind of show you how you figure those out. 